just like to go through the four steps uh, that I use in my process for pitching. The first one is visualization. Now that is basically just visualizing your shot in its entirety. So that means the landing spot, the spin, the break on the green, and everything. And what I'd like you to do is really try and get the best possible image in your mind of the shot that you're gonna hit. Sometimes I describe that when I'm teaching it as like a pro tracer that you see on TV. You can do that from behind the ball, or you can do it from over the ball. Um, I prefer, I suppose, doing a bit of both, but definitely the, the most or the, the best visualization I do is from behind the ball, because that's when my routine really starts is getting that clear picture in my head. So once I've, I've got that, you're moving on to step two, which is feeling the shot. So that means really getting a feel for how fast that you're gonna move or the speed that you need to produce the shot that you've got in the head, in your head. So the first thing I do is I get into the setup that's gonna produce the ball flight I've got in my head. And then I make some practice swings each time I make a practice swing, I guess I have an imaginary ball. So I'm visualizing, I guess, the shot that would happen if there was a real ball there. And every time I'm trying to figure out what length swing I'm gonna make and how fast I'm gonna move. And is that shot producing the one I've got in my head? And if it's not, making minor adjustments. Now, once I feel like I've internalized that speed or the length of that swing, then I move on to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like. Okay, so two practice swings and I feel like I've got it. Uh, I don't really think that you need to stand there and make 10, maybe in some situations, but you process I've been doing it for that long it's just natural you'll see one two three practice swings uh, sometimes on a really tricky shot you might see seven eight um, but that that's not very often so now I'm ready for the third phase which is hopefully the most simple uh, and that's hitting the shot so I'm gonna go through one and two and then hit the shot didn't quite hit my landing spot I, I hit it a little bit too hard and I think the acceleration on my shot there was, was faster than what I planned uh, and what I've just done there that reflection that is your fourth step and I think that probably the most important because that, that's how you can really learn from your shots and that's how players develop a great shot game uh, I'm not saying that technique isn't important because it's extremely important but the time that you spend practicing learning from your shots um, is is really well spent as long as, as you should learn from your shots and I think if you use this process you you can learn from every shot and you can start to notice patterns so what do I mean by a pattern is that on that shot there I felt like I accelerated too fast if if I think that I've done that maybe two, three times around, um, there's a pattern there and that's maybe something that I need to work on or I need to go and practice. Um, I, I could be doing a, an all, a huge amount of, of things. Some of them might be that I hit the ball flight ex exactly that I was visualizing, but it still ends up a, a poor shot because I've misjudged the bounce of the green or I've misjudged the break. Um, I might be 
hitting my shots much lower than I'm visualizing or much higher. Uh, the, the important thing is there is that you're reflecting on it and you're thinking about are you hitting your ball flight and then you can maybe start to think about why or if you can't figure it out then you can go and see somebody who can and, and, and they can help you with that. Um, you can develop a really good short game by just knowing this process and, and learning from what you do. Okay, I'm going to go through it one more time, the full thing without talking. was a better shot that was uh, much closer to my landing spot uh, and then the flight was uh, a little bit higher there as well so the ball landed and took off so that was closer to what I had in my mind not quite perfect but very close uh, something that you might notice when I'm doing that process is how many looks that I'm having at the target and that's uh, back into to phase one really you know step one the visualization it's really important to get that clear picture step two again you're visualizing uh, what that imaginary form might be doing okay have a go at that remember see it feel it hit it reflect i think it can really improve your shot game